if this room's still intact right now, I'll be so surprised. I'll be shocked now. Okay. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Trip. It's like 6.30 a.m. We decided <coughs> that we have to go back up to Milan. Josh got to fly out from Milan on the 16th, the morning of the 16th at like 5 a.m. So we have like five, six spots to hit before going back to Milan. Otherwise it's just gonna be a nightmare backtracking, using fuel, using time. So we've got up super early. We're gonna go and refilm, actually film four spots, we've had to pick four spots out of the six, cut two of them out completely because we don't have time. We've got that many spots, we don't have time. So we've got to go and film these four spots in one day. <laughs> four spots, one day. Can we do it? Do you think Josh, can we do it? I don't even know, I couldn't <laughs> even think straight, dude. I'm in a freaking dream. <laughs> <laughs> Josh just rolled in from the sauna at like 2 a.m. or something stupid like that. I don't even remember you coming I back. I had to cleanse my soul. Yeah, that's sense. true. That's true, get that asbestos out of your lungs. <laughs> what is Josh doing? What is he doing? He's playing, he's redecorating. He's gonna get the paint out soon. It's a dog. Why are you redecorating? I moved it. Why? <coughs> Wait, how do you close this, boys? <laughs> you twist the key and lock. <laughs> we don't have keys like this. You don't have keys like that in the US? Not like this, man. Uh, we're not gonna have keys like this in the United States. So I'm looking at like this is some old key. When <laughs> at my door, all I have to do is go click. I've got one of those, those keys, my door. Guys are just living in the past. We're living in the future. I have two. I have a Yale lock key and, the, and an old fashioned key. Double the security. Actually, it gives us this thing. What is that? You know, I've noticed that's really cool. I noticed everywhere in Italy, every hotel has their own like really cool number thing for the keys. Only the only the good hotels. Yeah, yeah, you know, only the good hotels. All right. So as you can see, it's still pretty dark out. Daybreak is just coming up. We are mounting up, ready to go and hit the first spot. I haven't done this in quite a while. We've been out before dawn to film an abandoned spot, but we have to get it done. We've got four spots to hit today. And if we didn't leave at this time, there's no way possible. We're still going to be fighting against the clock to get all four of these places filmed before sundown. So let's go. Let's try and do it. Don't forget, today filming is going to be two weeks of videos for me. Two videos a week. So yeah, it's going to be a good day. So we made it to the first location. Now this location Josh has already been to before and he said, there's not much to see apart from one special room and this room is like nothing anyone's ever seen before so we're stopping by here quickly i'm going to walk for it quite quick until we get to that one room so i'm not sure if this is probably going to be added to a vlog or another video i'm not sure yet depends what we find let's go let's mount up cold cold out here today i just feel rough today man <laughs> it's because we had a 6 a.m start Quite big. I see some graffiti, so that's not a good sign. Wow, this looks absolutely... <laughs> if this room's still intact right now, I'll be so surprised. I'll be shocked now. This place is a mess. So, the mall is filled with trash, graffiti. In fact, there's a beautiful room. <laughs> I don't know, I'm starting to get a bit skeptical. It's a big fireplace. Oh wait, 
wet. This looks nice. This is it. Okay. Okay, that's nice. So, now what do you think of this room? Just through that hellhole, the hallway. Okay, this is nice. This is crazy. Wow. It's all hand painted. Yeah, it's all hand painted. The chairs. I mean, I don't understand how is everything else vandalized and not this room. It's really strange. How amazing is that? We've even got cupids and cherubs and stuff up there. Wow, it's pretty amazing. Okay, so we've, we've not spent long in here. We only spent about 10 minutes taking photos, but we've got the most epic photos. Check out Instagram.com slash Fighters. Look at the state of this. The photo I've just taken, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna blow my own whistle, but it's amazing. So I'm not even sure if it's worth seeing anything else. I know Bucky's already gone back to the car. I'm gonna quickly look upstairs, see what's up there. If not, I'm heading to the next location. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is going in with a vlog or if it's gonna be mixed with the next location. If it's not too good, I don't know, but you'll be seeing right now. Upstairs. I know it's all rubble. A lot of rubble. Floor's falling through there. This is nice roof. So so nice roof. Wow. It's amazing. And then you've got that on the wall. Definitely tell this used to be one wealthy mansion back when it was all in use. You've got all that. And then look at what used to be the swimming pool outside. It is absolutely massive. This would have been amazing, really would have. Nothing there. This bit's nice. This bit's nice. Italian? Either Italian or Latin. So we're going up to the third floor now. Oh, it's going up even more. What's up there? Just two rooms, everything. This is above you there. There's no roof or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing in there. No, all empty. Right, I'm ready to get out of here. Huh? 
Did you say this guy? Or? Yeah, I'm talking. Clothes like they were left here yesterday, so and this this place has obviously been abandoned for about 30 years. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wonder if he was a famous footballer, that's when he realised so many about. NASA's official. And there's this one too. And his football shoes are here. <laughs> 